Pineapples are a joy to grow in your garden. Once you see how easy it is to grow pineapples at home, you will never look back. Let's look at growing pineapples. Now you can easily start your pineapple plant by buying a pineapple first. Now you can be specific and buy an organic pineapple. That way you'll get no pesticide residue with it. But in either case, you can just buy any pineapple that you get in your market. And then what we're going to do is just remove the head just like that, the top part of the pineapple. And then make sure that you cut well along the side, like just like that. And the reason is that you don't want a lot of pineapple flesh remaining on the top when you're planting it. Now all you do is take a glass of water. You can take any container. I just find that this glass that we, you see here, this fits in very well with the shape of the pineapple. So it kind of holds it in place. And what you're going to do is leave it for a few days like this in the sun. And then what will happen is it will trigger the pineapple to produce roots. As you can see here from the base of the top part of the pineapple. And within a few days, you can see that the roots have grown in the water. And you can keep changing the water every few days. And slowly you'll see that the roots have developed. And when you see that the roots are significant enough, long enough, you can transplant them into a container. Now I would recommend at least this sized container that you see here for growing pineapple. This is about 16 inches wide, 16 inches high container. And the ideal size is of course a whiskey barrel sized container. Now four months since planting you can see that the plant has now developed these leaves. The leaves have become wider and longer. And within about six months you will see that the leaves are more developed. They might turn a little darker green in color. And that just means that they're growing well. And eventually you will see that in about 10 months you will see the shoot growing. This is the main trunk of the pineapple plant that will eventually produce the pineapple. And the kind of soil that you want to use for your pineapple should be a well-draining soil. Make sure that you have a lot of compost though because your pineapple plant needs a lot of nutrition when it is growing in the first year at least. And the plant will grow really fast during the first one and a half years. And at this stage, at 15 months, I just thought that this plant was too big for this container. It was just branching out a lot and it needed more space. So what I did was I transplanted this plant into a larger container. Now it wasn't easy because the pineapple plant has a lot of spines and very sharp leaves. But as you can see here, I managed to do that. and this is why I recommend that you start your plant in a whiskey barrel container if you can. It's not that the plant is not going to grow in the other container. It just looks better and has more space in this container. Now 22 months since planting, I was still waiting for my pineapple plant to produce pineapples. And that's when I saw the first sign of a flower or a bud growing. Now, it might take a long time for your pineapple plant to produce flowers. So just be patient. Just keep growing your pineapple plant. Just keep giving it the adequate fertilizer it needs. And you will eventually get your fruit. And as you can see here, the bud is very evident now. And the pineapple bud, the pineapple flower is one of the prettiest I've seen. You need to grow your pineapple plants in full sun. They need at least 8 hours of sunlight a day. And you can keep it year round outdoors in places like Southern California. They will survive through winters and still produce pineapples in the next year. Now 24 months since planting you can see that our fruit now looks very much like a pineapple. And this is really the moment of truth. This is when you know your plant is going to produce a nice fruit. 
Now, the larger your pineapple plant is, the larger fruit you will get. But when you're growing this at home, don't worry about it. Even if you have a decently sized plant, you will get decently sized pineapples. The key is to grow sweet, delicious, organic pineapples. The key is not to grow huge pineapples like they do commercially. Now, as you can see here, the stalk is very evident now and the pineapple is now growing very well into a larger fruit very much looks like a pineapple now now i didn't have any problems with any insects or diseases on my pineapple plant the only thing that i noticed was a slight discoloration of leaves when i transplanted my plant but i added some fertilizer some fruit fertilizer around the base of the plant a slow release one and it worked very well You need to add fertilizer for pineapple plants at least twice per growing season. I would recommend you add one fertilizer in February followed by one in June. That would give you the best results for your pineapple. You can see here that it's been 29 months now since we planted our plant and the pineapple is slowly ripening and it slowly begins to look very much like a fruit that is growing on this pineapple plant. Indeed a very beautiful plant to grow in your garden. And within a few days this plant will ripen. It will start turning yellow. And once the fruit turns about 50% yellow, you can be sure that you can harvest your pineapple. Now in my case, I was able to see that the fruit was turning yellow. And when I tried to smell the fruit, it smelled a little fruity. So it was about time to harvest the pineapple. Now the pineapple plant has enough defenses to guard against a lot of predators. But you still do not want to wait too long. So use a nice big pruner to cut your pineapple from the tree. It's a pretty thick stalk by the way. And as you can see here, beautiful looking pineapple almost yellow all around and it smelled very fruity very much ready for harvest and this is really the moment of truth when you harvest your pineapple it's a really good feeling to harvest your own fruits in your backyard and considering that a pineapple just needs a small container to grow it's something that you must grow in your garden doesn't this look beautiful and I hope this inspires you to just buy a pineapple, buy any pineapple from your store and start your plants. Plant them in a pot. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of space or not. You can easily grow one plant in a container in your garden, in your patio, in your balcony. And this is a very beautiful looking plant. So do try it out. And as you can see here, we are trying to cut open the pineapple now. It's a pretty decently sized fruit. Again, not huge as you would get in the grocery store. But I'm hoping that the subsequent pineapples from my plant will be larger. You can see here beautiful looking fruit. And this is how I know to cut a pineapple. If you have a better way to cut a pineapple, do let me know in the comments below. As you can see here beautiful looking fruit. We're going to cut the thorny parts, the sides of the pineapple fruit and this is how it looks like again you can see juicy and beautiful you can see the juices dripping down from this piece of pineapple and we're going to be cutting the sides the thorns and this is a really beautiful looking pineapple so for those of you who have been waiting to grow a pineapple or were on the edge I hope this inspires you to grow your own pineapple. It is very easy to grow, believe me. There's nothing that should stop you from growing your pineapples or at least try them out. You won't have problems with a lot of predators, insects, diseases. It's just easy to grow in a small container. You need a decently sized container, not very small. But I'm sure that by just following a simple guide, like this one, you should be able to grow your own pineapples. And it's a real joy to harvest fruits like pineapple at home. These are not fruits that you usually grow at home. 
Now, if you are living in an area where you get very cold winters, you can get your pineapple plant indoors during the winter months. Your pineapple plant is not going to survive a frost outside. So make sure that you get your plants indoors. But in places like Southern California, where you have milder winters, you can keep your plants outside like I did. And you can see that the plant has survived for a long time outside. And it's a great plant to grow in places like zone 9 or above. And here are the pineapple pieces. As you can see, beautiful looking pineapple right from your backyard. And this is a real joy. I highly recommend that you try growing pineapples in your home right away. It's gonna make you very happy. You'll be very happy that you grew pineapples at home. And what happened to the pineapple tree after the harvest? As you can see here, it's now developing a side shoot. You can see here on the left side, there's another shoot growing. And I hope to get one more pineapple, hopefully this year, somewhere around June or July, that I'll be able to harvest. So there we have it folks, that was our episode on growing pineapples. This video took a long time to film and make, so if you like this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, do let us know in the comments below. If you have tried growing pineapples or are planning to grow pineapples now that you have seen the video, do let us know in the comments as well. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.